democracy, poverty reduction, and cryptocurrency. Communities get their own currency. Decentralized social networks. How does the, um, can you go and elaborate a little bit more on the universal basic inf income um, feature to Intercoin? So let me ask you this. So let's just say a year or two down the line or even a couple months down the line, Intercoin's launched. We can go buy the coin on, on exchanges or through Cubix. Um, well, how does this work? Do I like stake the coins in a wallet, kind of similar to proof of stake in a sense, and I just receive a dividend? Like how does this UBI or basic universal income uh, uh, feature work with Intercoin. Jason, you want to take that one? Well, Jason, we need you to unmute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there. Okay. There you, there you, can you go. hear me now? Yep, we can. All right. So, um, yeah, so universal basic income, each community um, can uh, govern their own basic income. I call it community based income, so I like to call it a CBI. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to reinvent uh, universal basic income. Just each community on their own could decide how much basic income to give out. And with all this um, data they can get for their own blockchain or for their own non-blockchain DLT, mm -hmm. um, they can get from their local fintech uh, how much is needed or, or the, the data in real time of what's being affected in the community. And they could let the, gov the, the community have their own governance to choose. Should go up 1%, down 1% basic income. So it'll be up to each community to adopt basic, basic income if they like okay. and, um, and govern their own basic income.